Hey, Dr. Binox. Hey there. Hello, Dr. Binox. Hello. Oh, hello. Friends, did you spot any kind of difference between these two? I'll give you 10 points if you do. No? Well, don't worry. I'll tell you how they are different from each other. But for that, I need to tell you all about the animal kingdom. Come with me. Zoom in. The animal kingdom is divided into two groups. Invertebrates and vertebrates. And today, we'll talk about the invertebrates. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrates, which are further classified into worms, sea jellies, mollusks, anthropods, and sponges. Now, let us explore a little into their worlds. Worms. They have long soft bodies with no legs. Oh, and two body openings. You've seen earthworms, right? If you haven't, rush to your nearest garden. Sea jellies. Jellyfish is a good example here. They have soft and long stinging bodies. Stinging because they use their stingers to stun their prey before pulling them into their stomach. Mollusks They have soft and warm bodies. Many of them have hard shells like the snail. Other examples are octopus and uh, squid. Anthropods these animals form the largest group of invertebrates. They have their skeleton on the outside of their bodies. Ooh, creepy crawlies such as cockroaches, spiders are anthropods. Sponges. They generally live in salt water and don't move from place to place. They filter nutrients and tiny organisms out of water for food. Trivia time! The invertebrates will eat almost anything that was or is alive. 97% of all animal species are invertebrates. Well, that keeps a very tiny space for the vertebrates. So do one thing. Check this video out to know more about them. This is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun facts.